Flags.com. The main goal in all pickups in IVF is to achieve the mildest procedure for the patient as well as to receive the highest amount of OSA as possible in a short amount of time. The key to achieve these goals is the physician's main tool, the needle. In this video you will see the pros and cons of the two most common needle designs on the market, as well as my unique invention, the Steiner Tarn Needle. As the oocyte doesn't float around in space but stick to the inner wall of the follicle, the critical part in the egg retrieval procedure is to get the oocyte separated from the follicle. The most commonly used kind of needle is the single lumen needle. Due to their big diameter, they have a powerful aspirating effect, which is crucial to make the oocyte let go from the follicle. Single lumen needles are one way only. When the follicle is collapsed, there is no proper way to refill the follicle again. This can be critical if the aspiration pressure wasn't powerful enough to separate the oocyte from the follicle or if the oocyte is still in the tube. Anyways, with single lumen needles, 50 to 60% of the oocytes can be collected. Whereas single lumen needles are built for aspiration only, double lumen needles are built for both aspirating as well as flushing. Besides the aspirating needle, there is an outer diameter for flushing the follicle. This provides the physician to go back and forth, which increases the amount of follicles collected. The downside of double lumen needles compared to single lumen needles is the drastic loss of turbulence during aspiration and flushing that occurs because of the smaller diameter of the inner needle. If a physician would for example only aspirate with double lumen needles, he would collect up to 30% less oocytes compared to a single lumen needle according to its loss of turbulences. On the other hand, those 30% are compensated by its ability to flush. Additional to the loss of turbulences, double lumen needles are rather slow, which extends the procedure non-essentially. Dr. Hans-Peter Steiner wasn't satisfied with the given options, but certain that there is no way around flushing. So he invented the Steiner Tarn needle by combining the advantages of both single and double lumen needles and eliminating their downsides at the same time. The Steiner Tarn needle is a single lumen needle with a constant diameter throughout the entire length, which assures a powerful aspiration effect. The rear part of the needle is covered with a plastic tubing. Underneath, the needle has two drilled holes, which allow flushing fluid to flow through the needle towards the tip. Because the Steiner Tarn needle has a second volume surrounding, the setup is referred to as a quasi double lumen needle. Due to its huge flushing diameter, when flushing, the Steiner Tarn needle accelerates the fluid. This has a very welcome twirling effect, which supports the separation of the oocytes from the follicle making a higher number of collected oocytes possible. The mentioned advantages of my Steiner Tarn needle are simplifying the egg retrieval procedure for both patients and physicians by optimizing the number of eggs, reducing gonadotropins and reducing the operation time towards milder IVF as well as optimizing the embryo transfer technique. For further information, please go to my website where a lot of further information is provided, or simply contact me directly via email.